Hey guys, Pogosick29 here. Welcome to video number 13. Uh, in this video, we are going to look a little bit at the bucket scheduler by making an announcement plugin that broadcasts an announcement after, you know, on an interval. So let's go ahead and create our project really quickly. Okay. And our class announce announcer. Okay. So now we have our class set up. Now the cool thing about announce about uh, the scheduler is that it's very easy to use once you know how to use it. So this is going to be just very simple that broadcasts one message. Uh, on a on an interval. Now um, you could actually use what you know to have a configuration file with a list of messages and it could cycle through the list and you could also have a configuration option with the amount with the you know number of seconds in the interval. So maybe I'll show you guys that uh, I'm not sure. So everything in this is going to take place in our on enable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do bucket dot get server dot get scheduler dot schedule sync repeating task. And then this is going to take four arguments. The first one is a plugin, so we're gonna type this. The second one, you're gonna type new runnable, and then you're gonna do that. Okay, and then these other two, right now, we're just going to leave them there. So, public void run. So, what's happening is, uh, we're going to get to these two numbers in a second, but every time it's time for this task to do something, it's going to do whatever's in this public void run. So, this is an announcer, so we're just going to have it broadcast a message. Now, you know, you could have it do whatever you want, and, um, you know, these are very helpful. So, we're just going to say bucket dot get server oops get server dot get plugin manage uh sorry dot broadcast message and we'll say chat quality dot green plus, plus um this is an announcement announcement I think I spelled that right and import chat color. Okay, so now these two numbers, uh, so this argument two, this is once the once this scheduler starts happening, this is the delay. This is the delay before it starts happening. So this is called when the when the server starts. So if we wanted to say we want to wait for you know a certain amount of time before the server starts, then we can put a number there. So um, <clears throat> Uh, the way that Minecraft works, uh, if you've ever heard of ticks or ticks per second, basically there are 20 ticks in one second. So each tick is 1 20th of a second. And these two numbers are measured in ticks. So if we wanted to have it wait for one second before starting this loop of broadcasting, then we would put a 20 there. Because there's 20 ticks per second, so... It would um so it would wait for one second before starting, and now if you've ever seen like ticks per second, or if you heard like someone's TPS rate is down, that means that their server is not updating twenty times per second, which is usually because they have too many plugins or worlds for the amount of RAM that they have. But that's beside the point. So this number right here is the interval in ticks that we want it to be. So let's say that we want it to broadcast this message every two seconds, so we would do 40 ticks. So that is, that's all that we need to do for this, um, for our scheduler. So let's go ahead and make our plugin.yml and name announcer version 
1.0 main me dot post twenty nine dot announcer dot announcer description ah uh, a simple announcer okay so let's go ahead and export this and call it announce or yeah announcer okay so now let's go ahead and start up our testing server. So for this, I'm not even going to bother opening up Minecraft, but as you can see, uh, it waited for one second. I'll show you again. Reload. So now, reload completed, waited for a second, and now every second it's going to say, this is an announcement. Now let's say that we want it to wait for three seconds, so we would put 60 there, and then let's say that we wanted it to, to say it every five seconds. So now let's go ahead and export it and reload. So now it's going to wait for three seconds, and then it's going to start, and then every five seconds it's going to broadcast that. So that's all for this episode. We learned about uh, uh, repeating tasks with the bucket scheduler by making a very simple announcer. Uh, that's all, guys. Thank you very much.